Hello everyone, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to take this wide shot, this normal standard HD shot of this lady running, and you'll notice at the beginning she's a little bit off-center. I'm going to show you how to make it so that you can convert it into vertical shot. So TikTok, you know, YouTube shorts, that kind of stuff. And not only that, I'm going to show you how to make sure that your subject is centered the whole time. Let me show you here. So if I hit spacebar, you'll see here that she is always in the middle of the shot. So she's never outside of it. Even though, if you look at this shot, she's clearly not in the center. So how did I do it? Let me show you. And then I'm gonna show you how to make sure render you render it correctly so that you render it without the black bars and it works for things like TikTok and YouTube shorts and Instagram reels or whatever the hell people are doing these days. So let's start from scratch. Okay, drag and drop the footage in. I'm going to take, let's say, the first few seconds. So, yeah, say seven seconds or so, whatever. And I'll just go ahead and trim it. So we've got the lady running. Now, how do we do it? First thing you do, select the shot here or select the sequence. Now, go up to sequence, and we're going to go to auto reframe sequence. This is the important one. Now, it gives you a few options. You want to rename it. So I'm going to rename it vertical just so I can keep up to date and keep track. And then lastly, make sure that vertical 916 is selected. And for motion tracking, almost always go for default, sometimes slower or faster if you've got a slow motion shot or if something zips through the screen super fast, you can go for faster. But default works for about 98% of the time. Click on create. Note that this has created a new sequence. This is a separate sequence. So the, the first sequence still exists. This is a new sequence. When I click spacebar, and I, you'll see here this lady running through the over the beach there, she's perfectly centered. Now, how do we export this without any of the black bar nonsense so that it works perfectly for, like I said, TikTok, Instagram, and all those other ones? Well, all you got to do is go to File, Export, Media, but don't click on Export yet because you'll see the black bars on the side. We have to avoid that. So what you can do is we're gonna, and you'll notice here it says high quality 1080p. So it's kind of trying to go for the regular full HD screenshot. So again, you would get the black bars. What you can do is you can go instead, uh, click on frame size. As you see, I click down the triangle on the video, click on frame size, and then go down to the bottom and you'll see custom. This is now giving you the option to punch in the numbers you want. And what you wanna do is you wanna just reverse these numbers. So I'm gonna go 1080, oops 1080 and then the second one will be actually 1920 not what it wants to give you which is 720 1080 1920 now look there's no black bars on either side this is how you do it so once you do that hit export and that's how you do it guys thanks for watching